Hello and welcome back to another episode of Bandit Fishing UK. Uh, today on a sandy beach, and my main target is dabs. So I'm actually fishing a club match today. Only five of us turned up, uh, which is a bit disappointing. But um, unknown to me, there's another match on, another peg match uh, behind me, so I'm just switching you around. And there are 30 anglers on that one today. So we've got to compete for fish a little bit, but makes it a bit more interesting. For some reason, I've got a bit of an obsession with flatfish, dabs and flounder. Don't actually fish for them anywhere near enough, uh, but hopefully I can get a few out today. And here we have the first dab of the session. So uh, it's not a blank. I've had two blanks in a row recently. I'm glad to see this fish uh, hit the sand then. Lovely, lovely fish. A um, couple of ways of telling a dab, a difference between a dab and a, um, and a flounder. Shape of them slightly different. Flounder is diamond shaped. These are a bit more oval. And then if you can see behind there, they're a little bit see-through. So it's a quite a decent, decent sized dab, that's not too bad. I'm gonna get him measured, pop him on my scorecard, and slip it back. A bit strange looking at that rod. For me anyway, for a fixed bull and a continental rod, usually got the big sticks out. But I do like using the continentals. Uh, very simple, very easy tactics for for these fish today. Uh, three up Wessex rig. Uh, for bait, uh, some sticky blacks, uh, mackerel, a little bit of sandy, I'll end up fill it in, um, and some squid. So dabs are very, they're a predatory fish. They do like, they do like to eat fish baits. Um, the only problem is, so the dogfish and white in. So we'll have to try and battle through them to get at the dabs. A very pr productive mark on this day. Uh, today we're going to fish three hours down. Yeah, about three hours down um, and two up. Low water or darkness falls about an hour before low water, so that should be ideal for the fish to switch on. Anything that comes in the daylight really is a bonus. Gin clear water as always down here, and uh, the fish do like it when it does drop into dark, so fingers crossed they'll come on the feet. On the rigs today, just using some uh, size two mantas. Uh, again, another very strong, confident duck. Pinpoint sharp. Um, and you know, if you get a fish, you're gonna hook up with them. So, baits, as I said, I run through the baits it just now. Like bait presentations, dabs have only got quite small mouths. So you don't want to overdo it with your baits. Um, and because we are match fishing, I'll, I'll knock a couple up quickly so I'm ready to go just in case everything does come on the feed and it goes mad. Um, so that's the sort of size baits 
that I'll be using and then I've cut some blacks up and fill it with a sand deal already okay all you need to do is have your bait big enough to cover the shank shank the hook so cover that you don't need anything bigger than that otherwise they simply won't get in their mouths you might pick a couple of the bigger fish up but we're after everything today so get some baits baited up ready for my next cast Second dab of the session, off to a good start, two fish, two casts, can't complain with that. Um, again on a mackerel and, um, and black speed. So really, that's what I found really, really works down here. Small, tiny baits as you see in, um, in some of the clips there. Tiny, tiny baits and they gives the goods. The only thing I'm not doing at the minute, running around, I'm not timing my casts very well. So the other cat hooks are coming back bare. So I put a timer on now for 20 minutes um, for this cast, see how that lasts and then um, we'll take it from there. If they're coming back with baits on them and then you can maybe leave them for a little bit longer, get a soak, hopefully maybe get a double or even a, a triple shot. If the other hooks are coming back bare at that time and then it's time to shorten them down and just work it down a little bit more. If you don't want your baits out there, you don't want your rig out there with nothing on there, it's just not fishing then is it? So, your best to just keep tracks of things, put a timer on, have a watch on your on your phone or anything, just so you can sort of optimize your fishing. Let's get this one measured and uh, see if we can get some more out. It's just got dark now and um, Started picking up a few more sort of aggressive bites. Look as if they're sort of dogfish. Um, baits are still getting stripped after about 15 minutes. So it's not a good sign, a lot of crab. We're gonna be very busy now over the next, uh, I don't know, three, three hours or so of this match. Constantly sort of baiting up and getting everything prepped. Um, with the set that we've got today, I've sort of obviously said about um, my continental rod and, and fixed wheel reel. But uh, uh, in particular, sort of line I've got on uh, on this reel today, um, it's an ASO line tapered. It's ten pound tapered to a forty-five shock leader. No, not nothing, just straight through, and um, changes colour every twenty meters, which is ideal when you're match fishing for any match fisherman out there or pleasure anglers to help you want to catch more fish. If you're casting and you're casting to the blue section and you're catching, bit, you're catching fish. You know you've got to cast to the blue section to catch fish. Then they may switch off. So you go onto a clear section, the green section, or even the red section. It just helps you identify where fish are feeding. And then exactly, you know exactly how far you're casting. So at the minute I'm hitting fish at the clear section. That's about 120 meters, according to the sort of uh, the chart carrying on putting them out that, uh, that, at that range and fingers crossed uh, we can get some more fish in the darkness. So my first fish in darkness, a nice white in. Sure I'm getting dogfish bites, they're just pulling the tip round but they're just not coming to anything. So whether they're um, just feeling the resistance or something like that, I don't know. But we're going to plow on and see if you can get some more out. Uh, it's getting busy, still 15 minutes casts and the hooks are coming back. Well, brand new really. So um, it's gonna keep busy for the next, it's gonna be a busy session at least. Um, yeah, I'll come back to you if we get some more. Another white did. It's my seventh fish now. So two dabs, the rest of them are white did. Really difficult condition, uh, sorry, really difficult fishing. Uh, a lot of bites, but it just seems to be one fish coming at a time. And no double or triples, which is surprising really for this venue. Got about an hour left, rain started. It's gonna carry on now. Hopefully get into a few, few more dabs. I mean, those two first dabs, first, first and second cast, but 
happy to get a couple of those um, on the scorecard. Carry on fishing and uh, see what we end with. Fishing's been very slow, very, very slow in fact. Um, the last but one cast actually managed a double shot, finally. Um, got my last one out now. There's only uh, 15 minutes left of this match. Uh, currently in second, I think. Hopefully I get a triple shot on the last one to meet, beat Mark. I don't think he'd be happy if I do actually get one. So fingers crossed to see where I get on my last one. All packed up and back in the car now. Um, a tricky session, really, with so many anglers on the beach in like a short stretch. You've all got to try and share fish, compete for, for fish. So it was never going to be easy. But nine fish out for me um, and second place in that competition. One about the comp for me, to be, to be honest, it was just nice to get out and, and target something different um, rather than sat behind this big big rods and 3 0 hooks and, and all, all that malarkey. Um, so yeah, just nice to have a, a fish for, and scratch about for, for something smaller. So thank you very much for watching. As always, please like and subscribe. If you've got any recommendations or anyone to drop any comments down in the, in the comment section, we'll do our best to get back to them all. Tight lines to everyone. All the best. Catch you again soon.